solve the equation for the given variable. We have the equation here. This is a little, little more difficult. We have s equals negative 1 half g times t squared plus v times t. And we want to solve for the variable v. Now, there, there are a few ways to solve this. I'm going to show one way, and I'll leave it up to you to see if you can solve for a v another way. And if you have found it, please put it in the comment section below. So again, we want to get this v by itself. We see this multiplication with the v and the t there. Okay, we have the plus sign. And when I look at this, I see that we have two big sections. We have the negative 1 half g times t squared plus v times t. So I'm going to take this section here, and since there's a negative there, let's just add this whole thing, plus 1 half g t squared. I'm going to add that to both sides, okay? Plus 1 half g t, like a Mustang g t. All right, so we added to both sides and we're left as well. Again, these are not common um, uh, common variables here. And so we have to say s by itself plus, or like term, sorry, that's the word I was looking for, g t squared equals. Now, this whole thing is canceled. The whole thing is canceled. If you want to think about there's that, that parentheses there, if you want to think the whole thing's negative, this way you can think of it like that. Um, but that cancels out and now we're left with v times t. So now it becomes pretty simple. We want to solve for v by itself. So we have multiplication going on here. We want to divide t to both parts. Okay. So now we're left with all v equals this whole left side. Now I'm going to distribute this t on this one. I'm going to distribute t to this part and to this part. And what's that, what's that going to do is get rid of the squared going on here. So I have s over t plus 1 half. I'm going to write it like, well, put it like this g times, right? Now we have t and t squared. Remember, t squared is just having two t's, right? Um, t squared is equal to t times t. There's a little, little note here if you want to put that down. A little note, so that there's two different t's here, so they one of them will cancel and we're left with one t left. And so that's our final answer for v. We have v equals s over t plus one half g times t. Again, where, where what? where t is not equal to zero, okay? Because we'll be dividing by zero here, and that would make it undefined. Um, thank you for watching, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.